ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهدنه فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده رب لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله والسلام عليه اما بعد يا مشر المسلمين as we want to benefit ourselves باذن الله تعالى with the reminder <coughs> because for really the reminder it benefits the believer the reminder benefits the believer so we want to discuss uh, that which we see in this day and time that which we are faced with that which is يعني, a plague a hindrance a distraction within our communities and specifically the black communities ma'am ya ayyuhal ikhwa so as we want to take some verses from the quran and then we want to uh abstract from it some benefits but we also want to make it yani applicable to that which we see that which we are witnessing within our community we also want to derive as i mentioned derive and abstract some benefits from it so the statements in the quran or the ayat in the quran he mentions لا يشهدوا لا يشهدون الزور لا يشهدوا ذون لا يشهدوا ذون لا يشهدوا لا يشهدوا لا يشهدون الزور عفوا طيب so those who do not bear witness to falsehoods those who do not bear witness to falsehood excuse me uh, I have Naam. so those who do not bear witness to falsehood so in today's time there are many manifestations of people inclining to falsehood the people are inclined towards it even if it is falsehood even while the person who is speaking is lying and distorting the truth because it sounds so enticing and attractive falsehood draws the people's attention while they turn away from the truth and this is what you see that the people they gravitate towards the falsehood because the falsehood it looks more attractive it sounds more appeasing it go the the, the falsehood it yani it goes with that which the individuals desire or that which they are inclined towards it is that which it is attractive so from the noble characteristics of the servant is that they do not bear witness to falsehood from these characteristics لا يشهدون الزور 
those who do not bear witness to falsehoods. And in today's time, many of us are witnessing the falsehoods. They're, we are witnessing the falsehood right in front of our face. And we don't say anything about it because this is my man. We go way back. We grew up together. Yani, and all of these terms that individuals use to justify their falsehoods. La yashhadun azur. Those who do not witness the falsehood. So, inclining towards it. Mada, they're inclined towards including in this the falsehood it is yani lying inclining towards lies immorality kufr foul speech false words this is all included within la yashhadun azur this is all included in this nam ya ayyuhan nas And this is something that we have become accustomed to because this is what we grew up upon. This is what we was upon of يعني, this affair of being around the falsehood, being inclined towards it, listening to it, spreading it, يعني, gossiping about it. As Amr ibn Khais, he mentions radiallahu anhu. He said this refers to the gatherings of sexual immorality. And how many of us, how many of our people still go to bars? How many of the individuals, the people that's in the hood, the youngins that is in the hood, the old heads that is in the hood. How many of us, how many of those individuals who go to the bars, drinking and other things, and other than that, it takes place. And they witness how many of the people still go to Madha? Clubs, strip clubs. And all of the places where immorality is taking is taking place, and it is a shame because many of the people are in their thirties, they are in their forties, and behaving in such a manner. They're in their thirties, yeah. I mean, and you have even some of the younger ones. Younger than that, sneaking in, sneaking in the clubs, sneaking in the bars with, you know, someone else's ID. Or they may just, you know, pay their way inside. They pay their way inside. So this affair, لا يشهدون الزور And those who do not bear witness to falsehood. Those who do not bear witness to ghibah. And how many times, how many of us are witness or mad that we're guilty of this? Of listening to backbiting and slandering. We have got so we have gotten so desensitized from this affair of individuals spreading rumors or backbiting another brother or backbiting another sister. And we don't say anything about it. We just, you know, go along with it. We laugh and we joke about it. We spread it on the social media platforms or we spread it with text messages and phone conversations. La yashhadun azur. Those who do not bear witness to falsehood. 
isn't it time that we stand up and say, look, listen, you know, I don't want to hear this. This is not permissible to talk about your Muslim brother or sister, you know, warning against this behavior. So from amongst this affair, as we took some ayahs in the Quran and we want to apply it to that, to our situation, that which, yani, which I see within the hood, within the area that we, we are from, whether you from, whether you be from Philly, whether you be from New York, or from Jersey, or Baltimore, or Hakatha Ya Ayyuhan Nas. La Yashhaduna Zor, as it is mentioned, from the Mufassirin, Rahimahumullah, and those who do not bear witness to the falsehood, as Ibn Kathir, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he mentions this word, this ayat, he says, Ma'na. Lying deliberately, lying deliberately to someone else, and it was recorded in Sahih, Sahih Bukhari and Muslim that Abu Bakr, radiAllahu anhu, said, "The Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wasalam, he said three times, 'Alla unabbiukum bi akbari kabair.' He said this three times." Shall I not tell you of the greatest of the major sins? Shall I not tell you from the greatest of the major sins? So the companions. Ridwan Allah, Ridwan Allah, Alayhim, Ajma'in. They said, Of course, O Messenger of Allah. So the Messenger of Allah, Alayhi Salatu wa Salam, he said, As Shurku Billah, Wa Ukukul bin Walidain, Wa Ukukul Walidain, associating others in worship with Allah Jalla wa Ala, and disobeying one's parents. As you find from amongst the youth disrespecting their parents, calling them out their name, and in many instances fighting them, beating them up, mother hurting them in the lights, disobeying one's parents. When your parents tell you to do something, you don't listen and you, you come back with smart remarks. You talk back to them. How many of us from amongst the youth who is or who has this, this problem, who is, who, is, who is experiencing this problem? Wa'iyadha billah. So it is mentioned, Ya Ayuhal Ikhwa, that beware of the false speech. Beware of the false speech. And bearing witness to the falsehood, bearing witness to it, being around it, yani spreading it, loving that, loving that which is taking place, spreading it, gossiping about it, texting individuals, and spreading news about individuals, bearing witness to falsehoods. So from this, from the context, it is mentioned, it seems that what is meant by those who do not bear witness to the falsehood is those who do not attend it. 
or those who mad that those who do not attend it or those who and those who are not present when it happens those who do not attend it those who do not those who are not present when it is taking place when it is going down but unfortunately in today's time we like we like stuff like this our people we are enthused with things like this so and so is off of it so and so is this so and so is that you know we we are we are happy about it we spread it we talk about it we love to hear these type of conversations we like that we like to hear this this kind of fitna so it is mentioned imam sa'di rahimahullah ta'ala he says they avoid all gatherings in which there is unlawful speech or deeds that which is haram speaking bad about the revelation of Allah Jalla wa'ana and arguing on the basis of falsehood. You find this taking place in the hoods and the gatherings of the people who are supposed to be studious, the students of knowledge, individuals arguing on platforms, individuals, you know, I was uh, has individual I heard or matter I saw and I heard that individuals arguing about this sheikh and that sheikh. This sheikh, this, this sheikh is off of it, this sheikh is this and that and the third. They arguing about this affair. And individuals argue over that which is a difference of opinion. Arguing over ikhtilaf. So it is mentioned, speaking bad about the revelation of Allah Jalla wa'ala, as Imam Sa'di he mentions, arguing on the basis of falsehood, backbiting, spreading malices, and gossiping, insulting, slander, ridiculing, unlawful music, drinking alcohol, images, and the likes. So this is what I wanted to present because I see that we are and we are mad that plagued by this this is something that we are affected by this is something that we are affected by in the community in the islamic community and as well as the community within the hood arguing on the basis of falsehood backbiting now that we are so quick to backbite each other and we are not quick to forgive or to overlook or to hide the faults. We are so quick to expose. SubhanAllah. And having also malice in the heart, in your heart about you, towards your Muslim brother. Yani having some type of hatred or malice to the point that you insult him or you, you are ready to fight him. Nam ya ayyuhannas and as it is mentioned ridiculing and unlawfully and the music as we will get to that as well because we are plagued with the music within within our neighborhoods the music is playing loud in the houses on the streets everywhere you go yeah I mean this is what we are being affected by and afflicted with and also from drinking the alcohol our people are influenced by it they are intoxicated they are yani they get into shootouts and fights be sababi be sababi the karma because of the karma because of the alcohol because of the drugs and images as well. You see individuals with tattoos all over their body. Muslims as well. The Muslims are tatted up all over their body, their faces. The on the side of their neck. And it is even more appropriate that they should not say or do anything that constitutes falsehood. If they do not witness falsehood, they will not speak falsehood, which includes 
giving false testimonies. Giving false testimonies. So it is mentioned that the Sahaba, they said, and he kept on, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kept on emphasizing, Beware of false speech and bear witness to and bearing witness to falsehood meaning and he kept repeating it until we thought until we thought he would uh, until we thought would that he would stop from the context of this it seems that it is it is meant as i mentioned by those who do not bear witness to falsehood it is those who do not attend it or they are not present when it happens And also from this affair, as it comes in another ayat, or it comes in the same verse, or the same surah, وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِلَغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامَ And if they pass by some evil, they pass by it with dignity. They do not attend where the falsehood occurs. And if it so happens that they pass by it, they do not let it matter, contaminate them in the slightest. When they see some falsehood taking place, they pass by it. They don't let it consume them or contaminate them. As it is mentioned, Marru Kirama, they pass by it with dignity. And a number of the Tabi'un and other of the ulama and other scholars had various interpretations of this verse. Wa'idam Marru Bilagwi Marru Kirama. They have interpretations and explanations of this verse. وَمِنْهُمْ Abu Bakr and Kalal rahimahullahu ta'ala reported in his book and Jamia that Muhammad ibn Sirin explained and also not just this verse, وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِلَغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامَ But also the verse that I mentioned, لَا يَشْحَدُونَ zur As the Mufassirin, the ulama of Tafsir, they mentioned about that verse, لَا يَشْحَدُونَ zur They mentioned about this word, zur رَحِيمُهَمَّ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى they said Azur as festivals of the Christians. And it is reported that Mujahid and Al Rabi ibn, ibn Anis to have said festival festivals of the Mushrikeen and the idol worshippers. And how many from amongst the people or our people that go that attend these festivals, birthday parties, birthday festivals? All kinds of, you know, where, where things are taking place. Drinking and, yeah, I need women being promiscuous and uh, revealing themselves. How many individuals attend these, these gatherings where they are exposing themselves to the fitna by going there and witnessing it and being around it and indulging in it, indulging in the fitna. Naan. So it is mentioned Al Qadi Abu Ya'ala he mentions while discussing the prohibition of participating in the idol worshippers festivals reported on the authority of Abi Sheikh Al Asbahani 
that at Dahaq, he mentioned Azor as idol worshippers, the idol worshippers festivals. At Dahaq, Rahimahallah, interpreted as words related to shirk. And on this word, Azor, it is words that is related to shirk. And Amr ibn Murrah, Rahimahallah Ta'ala, as he said as follows. Here it is mentioned, practices of the polytheists. And intermingling with them. So just as it appears to be something good to do, it's beautification. Just as it appears to be beautiful and something good to do, the beautiful looks of it, the outward appearance of it is beautification, be it out of lust or obscurity, while it is internally bad, such as the case with shirk, with music and the likes. They look appealing outwardly, but are actually destructive. All of this is destructive. All of this behavior that you see that is going on in the streets when individuals is blasting music and shooting dice and smoking weed and drinking and arguing over what? They're gambling and arguing over the dice game, over the female, over this, over that. They're arguing over what? Falsehood. Yani zor. La yashhadun zor. Don't be witness. Don't be a bear wit don't be witness to the falsehood. Don't be around it. Don't go near it. Don't indulge in it. So and likewise, from the manifestations of falsehood is listening to music. Ah. Oh listening to the music you find that the muslim is afflicted with this this is a fitna in the muslim community and as well as outside of the community in the hood it is a fitna for the kufar and as well as the muslim who indulge in listening to music they wake up listening to music they smoke Weed, listening to music, drinking weed, listening to music. Fawahish so doing, yani having intercourse, listening to music. And likewise, from the manifestations, a falsehood is like, is listening to music because it turns the people away from the Quran. And you find from the people arguing over the, over the best rapper. You find individuals arguing over the best rapper of all times, who's the best singer, who sold the most records. They really get into fights over the music of the shaitan. You find the statements like, يعني, uh, and I'm, يعني, uh, it's sad to say, but it's the reality. Is that you hear statements like, I made babies off this song. Yani, you, you know, they, they tell their son or their daughter, man, I, he was born off this song. I made you on this song. I made you off this song. So, you, so it is mentioned. So we will mention the names of this, Yani, of this, Yani, these, these particular names from the Quran and the Sunnah, that which is repugnant and despicable and, and Yani, such as, so the shaitan, he uses diversionary wordplay, such as Allahu. He used these wordplays to distract or to, yani, for distraction, to, to distract the individual from that which is the truth. He used these particular distractions in wordplay, such as Allahu, yani, nonsense, Allahu, falsehood. These are the names in the Quran pertaining to this affair of uh, the munkirat, the evil, the music, the nonsense, the falsehood. He uses Allahu, nonsense, Allahu, falsehood, yani batil, azur, azur, and he uses 
the the the, the clapping, the atasdiyat, the clapping and the utterance of illicit, illicit sexual relations. You find individuals when they get intoxicated, when they are smoking and drinking and using profanity and illicit, yani, illicit sexual acts, or they are speaking in this way. They're speaking in a way that is pleasing to the shaitan and it is hated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, they are uttering this illicit, illicit sexual, the illicit sexual relation, illicit sexual, sexual behavior. And this is the Quran of the shaitan. It is the source of hypocrisy. It is the Mumbit, Mumbit al Nifaq al Fi Qalbi. It is the source of hypocrisy in the hearts. And it is a Sawtul Ahmaq. A Sawtul Ahmaq. This is the sound of the fool. A Sawtul Faj, a Sawtul Fujur, or Fajr. This is the sound of the sinner. A Sawtul Shaitan. This is the voice of the Shaitan. This is the voice of the Shaitan. The instrument of the shaitan is the music, is the illicit behavior. Nam ya ayyuhannas. So the voice of the shaitan, the instrument, the instrument of the shaitan, and the heedlessness. So from the diverse, the diversionary wordplay, the idle speech. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions in the Quran وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي يَشْتَرِي لَحْوًا وَالْحَدِيثِ 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 لِيُدِلُّ لِيُدِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ الْعِلْمِ إِلَى الْأَخِرِ سُورَةِ And from the people is the one who purchased the idol speech to mislead from the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without knowledge. They mislead the people by the speech, by the songs. And you have these rappers and singers misleading the people with, with these rap songs, with these lyrics. You have these singers misleading the people with these songs, wa'iyadha billah. Without knowledge, they misguiding the people from the from the path of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Naam al Wahidi and others, al Wahidi rahimahullah Taala, and other than him, they said the majority of the the, the majority of the Mufassirin, the explainers of the Quran, hold that the meaning of idle speech, wal hadith, is singing. The, the majority of the Mufassirin, they hold that this meaning, it means singing. Lahu wal hadith, it is singing. The majority of what has come. To those ulama who explains the Quran is an idle speech. Here it is singing. So since it since it idle since this idly distracts from the remembrance of Allah Jalla wa Ala and Qatada, Rahimahallahu Ta'ala, he said about the verse, even if it doesn't, he mentioned about this verse, about this ayat that we just mentioned. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهْوَ الْوَالْحَدِيثِ لِيُدِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ الْعِلْمِ He mentions about this verse, رَحِمَهَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى He said about the verse, even if it doesn't, even if he doesn't pay money, even if he doesn't pay money, it is sufficient enough to, de to determine an individual's misguidance if he chooses the speech of falsehood, meaning singing over the speech of the truth, meaning the Quran, Allah, who is also, Mada, 
and lahu it is also mentioned that uh this word and uh dishonesty or nonsense lahu it is mentioned about this word as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions in Surah Al Furqan وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَشْهَدُونَ الزُّورِ وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِلَغْوِي مَرُّوا كِرَامَةً And those who do not witness to, and those who do not witness or they are not يعني, witness to this dishonesty, a zur, and where they pass by some nonsense they pass with dignity and Muhammad ibn al Hanafiya. Rahimahallahu ta'ala, he said, singing. This is singing. They pass by these songs and this or these lyrics and this music. They pass by it with dignity. And Laif he narrated, he said this from Mujahid and Al Qalbi. They said they do not attend the settings of falsehood. They do not attend the settings of falsehood. They walk past these particular places. They walk past the area where falsehood is being spoken. Whether it's taking whether it be taking place in a masjid or at a lecture or at a gathering or at a wherever it may be, that they yana get away from this fitna. They get away from this gossiping. That which is haram, they get away from the music, get away from the smoking, they get away from the people that is indulging in all of these affairs, and they obey Allah Subhanahu wa Taala because because they know that this is a distraction. This is a distraction to mislead the people from the path of Allah Jalla wa Ala. So this is what we want to present bi Taala. This affair. That which is uh, plaguing our community with gossiping and backbiting and slandering and gambling and smoking, and partying, all of that. It is from this despicable affairs of Lugu. It is from amongst the affairs of that which of hindrance, that which hinders the individual. From the path of Allah, from the path of Allah Jalla wa Ala. So this is what we want to present, and we will end with this. Inshallah, Tabaraku wa Taala, wa Sallallahu wa Sallam, ala Nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala Alihi wa Ashabihi ajma'in wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-Aliyyu al-Azim.